On May the 22nd, we discussed this incredible moment in Mraz's life that made him feel all of the feels. That was May 22nd. Fast forward to November the 8th, when we finally found out the identity of the person in question. It's number four on the 12 DAs of Christmas. So, Mraz, take me through this. You are coming from the bathroom back into the newsroom. Right. Show ends right at noon Eastern. I walk out to the bathroom, walking back into the newsroom. There is a very pretty girl, I assume works maybe in a sales department, a promotion, somewhere around this building, standing in the hallway before I approach the newsroom. She is on the phone. All I can hear very clearly she makes eye contact is, I will have the chicken cutlet with pesto and mozzarella hero. Just, okay. Just like that. What do you think about that order? Unbelievable. Love love her style. You have to be really in the mood for pesto, but when you're in the mood, it can deliver. <laughs> so I've never seen her before, and what I usually do if somebody's on the phone, give a you know a head nod, a smile. So I give her the smile as she places that order. She looks at me, puts her hand on the on the mouth part of the phone almost to not say this in the phone. She looks at me and goes, Yeah, you like that big boy. Winks, <laughs> smiles, then goes right back to the phone. Does that come with chips or anything? <laughs> I, I didn't know what to do. I froze and laughed. This young, attractive sales girl in the hallway ordered a chicken cutlet pesto on Italian bread. Mozzarella on a hero. On a hero. Looked at you, smile, put her hand over the receiver, winked at you, said, yeah, you like that big boy. Like, then- like a hot Kirk cousin. <laughs> <laughs> we believe who is Miss Chicken Pesto how do you feel? Are you nervous at all? Certainly nervous. That's not her actual name, though, is it? No, that's not her legal name. And Miss Chicken Pesto Sandwich, might you mind a saying for the jury here, yeah, you like that big boy. Certainly. Yeah, you like that big boy. I need a little more oomph, though. Okay, get close to that microphone. Yeah, you like that big boy. I think that's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting goosebumps up my back here. <laughs> It's her. It's her. I love the mask, big boy. (laughs) (laughs) It's got to be okay, Mariah. You can take off the blindfold now and tell us if this is Miss Chicken Pesto. Yes, it's the hair! It's the hair! I haven't seen her! That's her! Yay! What a bull of joy you are. That's amazing! (laughs) Name is Caroline Murtaugh. She works here at CBS. She has an office way in the back, so we never see her. She's never around this area. So the one time she was out there ordering, uh, we went on hunts for months for you. (laughs) And Amanda found me. You're like like, Sasquatch. That's totally something. (laughs) (laughs) So you covered up the end of the phone as you were ordering and looked at him, kind of winked and said, yeah, you like that. that Oh, yeah. You must have been in a good, fun mood. It was... (laughs) I'm really rarely ever in a bad mood, but I definitely was in a playful mood. Oh, that's <laughs> unbelievable. Plus, I was all psyched. I was getting the sandwich. Well, For those of you that aren't simulcasting and watching this, I'm not a large woman. No, <laughs> you're not. No. You're, you're... I just like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, this watching. is great. This, yeah, is, this is. I cannot, Damon, the work you did here putting this together, yeah, and Amanda you. as well. Oh, you're welcome. What a, what a hunt. This, this is really just great. I, I thought it was over. I thought maybe quit. Different person. That was it. I can't believe this. Attempt. Here I am. <laughs> and I have a contract, too, so I'm around for at least yeah, a year. Yeah, no, Caroline. Wow. Oh. Caroline's a power broker around here, actually. Wow. So You can afford mm-hmm. a couple pesto chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number four on the 12 DAs of Christmas. How that is only number four, I'll never know. There are so many great moments of that. I mean, number one, Caroline, chicken pesto lady, saying that she was playful in a playful mood because she was getting that sandwich is kind of perfect. That that sandwich made you feel all the feels, and it got her into a playful mood. There's nothing that will tickle you more than ordering the perfect lunch sandwich combination for both you and the person you're ordering in front of. Number two, Mraz saying, Damon, the work you did here, like it's a ribbon-cutting ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm Al Roker or Wilbur or whatever with the electric knife at the Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> Like, we are dedicating a building or a monument, Damon, the work you did here. The community thanks you. Also, we should have Caroline from sales do voicers for us. I mean, listening back, isn't her voice amazing? It is so sultry. It's so smoky. And I don't know. It just, it grabs you. Yeah, do you want me to focus on any segment when we got her with liners bumping back? Right, imagine her introducing, like, Trash Tuesday or something. You've been trashed. (laughs) 
You like that big boy? <laughs> she's great. And what ends up being lost here is that you may think that she's just a, a regular worker bee at Entercom Radio, CBS Radio. No, she's a real power broker. She is way up in the food chain. Like she controls a lot of departments and a lot of finance and a lot of money. And she is she's up there. And look at how great her attitude is. She's just so fun. She's playful. She's funny. So it's so cool to have somebody like that and realize, wow, she's not just a regular nine to fiver. She like controls a lot of stuff, which let's face it, makes the order even sexier. I mean, there's just everything about the order and the tracking down of Caroline from sales. You have to note that it's, this happened in May and it took months of tracking this thing down. And I went to all corners. We had a search party. Myself, Maraz and Bogish, walking through the sales areas and other floors and other cubicles, looking, essentially a search party in the middle of the woods, looking for the, the missing child. We could not find her. And I exhausted all resources. And finally, this was the last Hail Mary. And she had told me, well, I had gotten to somebody who had said, well, this sounds like something Caroline would say, my friend Caroline. So I interviewed Caroline, said, is this something that may have happened? She goes, well, I have ordered that sandwich. I said, you're the one. You're the one!